I've been with UFO for about five years now, actually. We've done two records together, two studio records, and uh, one live DVD record. I've been so busy uh, touring and recording with UFO that I've been working on a solo record that is now finished, actually, and that's going to be coming out sometime soon. I have a recording set up in my house. I do everything there. I did all the guitars for the two UFO records there. I've done sessions for other people there, and I do my solo records there. Being in a band is definitely different than doing a solo thing. And uh, you know, when I play with a band, in this case UFO, it's a rock band. So when I write, actually what I'm gonna write is gonna fit within the context of that band. It has to, that's the way it is. And so I show more of my rock side when, when I'm with UFO. As a solo artist, you know, I can just kind of go off and dabble anywhere, explore and go off in many different directions. You know, we at Dean, we want to really corner the market on shredders. And I think we have some of the best shredders, you know, in the world with, you know, Michael Badio and Rusty Cooley. And now with Vinny, you know, just you know, having the signature guitars with us is really, you know, a great thing. It's really something that uh, I'm real excited about. <laughs> I've been carrying on this tour this Vinnie Moore signature Vinman 2000 and this guy, which is the one I've been using as my main axe on the tour, and I also have a Z79 that I've been using, and the Dean acoustic guitar. I started working with Dean guitars the summer of 07, and the record was 90% finished at that point, so, but I did get to use this guy on about 10% of the record and uh, I've been using it everywhere ever since. They're rock solid, they stay in tune very well, and they handle the rigors of the road. I noticed that the necks seems to be more stable than things I've played in the past, as far as temperature changes, humidity changes. When we first got together, nobody really knew what the concept was gonna be for the guitar, and um, I'm glad we went this way. This is the only maple neck guitar at the moment, that was, it was the first maple neck guitar we offered. We never made a maple fingerboard guitar. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think people have really taken to that. I have a funny story about the stability of the necks on these guitars. I went to the Frankfurt Music Fair a few uh, weeks back with this guitar, and I didn't have the gig bag I normally use. I lost it, and I didn't want to check it with luggage. I wanted to carry it, so I had no alternative but to unscrew the neck and I put the guitar in a suitcase. I didn't even take the strings off. I just took the ne neck off, bubble wrapped the neck, bubble wrapped the body, threw it in a suitcase with some clothes. I got to Frankfurt. I took the neck, put it back on, screwed it together. The strings were still on. They were in tune. I strummed it, they were in tune. I went out and did a clinic without even changing the strings on the guitar, and it was just like it was at home. It was, I couldn't believe it. The stain is good because it's a maple neck again and the alder body. You know, to me, that's the perfect combination. Josh, listen to this, man. <laughs> that's the new Vinman Shredhead pickup, dude. That's how we build them. I'm liking the tone a real lot. It sounded really good on stage, and in fact, my sound man is like raving. I've been using this mostly, and he's just raving about the sound of it. It's the best guitar I've played. First of all, because we spent a lot of time tweaking like the little things, you know, making the signature model. And just the stability factor, the sound, like it has all the elements that you need. And when it's in my hands, it feels so comfortable that it almost becomes transparent, which is good because you almost forget you're playing. And then when you kind of forget about the physical limitations or whatever, then you're just concentrating on the music and the creative aspects. So there's nothing in between, you know, what's from here and here coming out the hand. This is Vinnie Moore at UFO. Welcome to DeanGuitars.com.